Here's my second motor controller. I added a potentiometer to control the speed. This is a brushless DC motor controller or an ESC. So you can see it's barely moving. Let me turn it up a little bit here. My pin came out. There we go. This thing isn't perfect. If you try to go too fast, it just starts, goes crazy and will start stuttering. Or not move at all. Yeah. Fairly erratic. But anyway, to do it right, you'd probably need to get either feedback from the three poles of the motor or use the Hall Effect sensors to build an actual circuit to to do it right. Or you could just go buy one for, you know, 10 or 15 bucks and not spend your life trying to make it. Ding wires. All right, so let's look at the Arduino sketch. So if you've done, if you've looked at my motor controller 1.0, you'll see it's extremely uh, similar to this. I'll just go through it again. Here we have six variables we're declaring as integers. We are assigning them to the Arduino discrete 0 through 5. And then we go ahead and declare a pot pin. This is for the um, potentiometer. And then we'll just go ahead and declare another variable that we use down in the program. So we set these six um, discretes to be outputs. And then we start the loop first thing we do is we check the um, potentiometer and we set the value of this potentiometer to this variable we created up, up above. So whenever we cascade through this loop, um, if you've ever played with say the blink sketch and you have the delay right in here you could actually put milliseconds to hard code the delay. Instead um, the number coming off this pot should be like a thousand something something which is perfect so down to zero a thousand something down to zero so um, this value will either be a second or it will be you know less getting faster and it'll go faster through um, so this cascade how it works is um, we're keeping two um, pins hot at all times. So first we'll keep the first two pins hot, then we turn one off and then keep the next two hot, and then we turn that one off, then we'll keep these two hot, and it'll cascade through. And how we'll set up our schematic is this one, one will be negative, three will be negative, five will be negative, two will be positive, four will be positive, and six will be positive. So whenever two are on you have current flowing through a coil of the motor because there's a positive and negative then we'll switch to these two this one will be negative positive anyway let me show you the schematic and how it works here I want to make this bigger sorry okay so Let's start with the Arduino. So it's pretty simple. We've got pins 0 through 5 here. The first thing we're doing is we're going down through some resistors to some LEDs so you can visually tell that your circuit is working. It's just really nice. This part would be optional, but it's nice for troubleshooting. Then we're going to go through some resistors and hit our transistors to power the motor. And like I said, if we look at this positive rail here, 
it's hitting one, two, three of these transistors. And the negative rail goes down and hits one, two, three. So it's alternating through positive and negative. And then you attach them to the three phases of the motor. Um, and this will produce the um, DC three phase square wave that the, mo the brushless DC motor requires. And then right over here, just one last thing is we have a potentiometer. Positive and negative coming into the pot and then into that input, that analog input, to vary the speed of our electri electric speed control circuit. If you want the schematic diagram and notes and also the Arduino sketch, go to filar.com.